up galactic friends and welcome to another list about 10 popular react native animation libraries. In the past we already had a video about the 10 components that I recommend and now we're doing the same because you requested a list of animations and components that you can use. This list is supported by Catalin Miron who gave me the inspiration for a few of these packages. Uh, go check out his stuff, both his YouTube channel and also his Animate React Native site. We'll also come back to Catalin in a minute when we go to the packages. Just like before I tried out all of these examples and there's now a GitHub repository where you can see my basic examples. And and also the link of course to each of those components that we're gonna use. I just want to mention one thing that list is not a ranking so the first or the last thing isn't the best. I think they're all great and they all serve a different purpose so let's dive straight into this. All right so let's begin with the first one on the list and I think this is a foundational one that everyone should know. React Native Reanimated and by the way did you know there's like this cool thing you can do? I just learned this the other day. Anyway React Native Reanimated is just re uh, rethinking the general animated API that you anyway have access to within your React Native application and it's doing it in a whole lot better way. I really like how reanimated code looks. You got hooked with like use shared value with Spring and the usage is just super easy. So here we go. This is an example and it is just butter smooth because reanimated is not using like JavaScript animations or any kind of web stuff you are used to. No, this is actually using native views under the hood. It's using worklets and it's the best performance. And really this, if you just take one package away from this, um, make sure you check out React Native Reanimate. The second package we want to take a look at is Moti by Fernando Rojo, one of the legends in the React Native world, and it aims to make animations a bit easier and more universal. Um, you can plug in like uh, you got web support, you can plug in different adapters, and Moti just feels really easy to use. If we check out the Moti example here, we go here. And it's so butter smooth again. And we see there's like presence you can animate. Um, we got a few shapes. And the cool thing is you can do it all in a way like this. Just so you got this from to and animate stuff. And it's just really that easy to add animations to certain components that should like pop up when you enter a page or um, perform something when something happens. So I highly recommend, this is probably one of the like hidden gems of this video, go check out Moti by Fernando Rojo, uh, which can also be used as far as I know on the web uh, with yes, Reanimated 3 of course. The third package is called Maki and it is shamelessly plucked by Catalin who actually helped me to create this list of animation libraries in the first place. If you don't know Catalin, check him out at animatereactnative.com where he has an epic library of even more animations. So if you come to this video checking out animations, that is the right place to continue your search. But for now, let's check out this little library because it's more like a, a fun thing to do. So Maki does exactly what you think it might do. It lets you run text through the screen like this in a pretty easy way with this Maquis component. I really like it. Uh, the Maquis component on the web is really underrated and we should bring it back to native. So thanks Catalin for this addition to Animate React Native. Library 4 takes us into the professional realm which is Lottie React Native created by Airbnb to basically run After Effects animation as JSON in your application. There are a lot of Lottie examples that you can check out uh, and it's really quite easy. So I just use one Lottie JSON file uh, which I took from their examples and you see this is really the stuff that you want to run in your application if you have these sort of animations. You really usually don't want to do that stuff with, I don't know, Modi or Reanimated. These are like the heavy animations that you only uh, you get with Lottie. However, there's something to this because the library is, as far as I know, quite big. Um, the animations can get a bit slow by t over time. There is an improved library that just came out a few weeks ago by Magello. Um, you know probably Mark Rosavi, who's been on the podcast. They're doing the React Native Vision Camera as well. And then they also got React Native Scotty, which is pretty much the same like Lottie, but a high performance library for running Lottie animations in Skia. It does the same, but it uses Skia's GPU acceleration. That means you got lower CPU uh, usage and higher frame rates. So I would highly recommend this. Check out the difference here between Lottie Default and Scotty. It is pretty uh, astonishing. So 
If you're serious about this, go check it out. But anyway, Lottie is a great recommendation for playing cool animations in an easy way in your React Native app. Library number five is called Rive React Native and is based on Rive, which you probably have seen uh, empowering certain other frameworks. You can pretty much use it everywhere. And we can, of course, use Rive with React Native. This is probably the better version of Lottie today. I don't know exactly where the future is going, but this is very promising. Again, the usage is quite straightforward. There's a Rive component you can import from Rive React Native, pass in a URL or an asset. I just used this one right here. And then you can go in there and play these sorts of animations in your application. I really like these because these can bring a lot to your application and it's quite easy and you can work together with a designer if you're a team they can create these after effects animations for both Lottie or for uh, Rive so go check this out uh, in case you didn't know this might be a tiny bit better than Lottie in the future. Package 6 is React Spring a spring physics based React animation library and here you already hear it it is a React uh, animation library. They do have cross-platform support so as you can see we can use it with React Native or React 3 Fiber and even more. However when I tried this out it felt kind of hard because most examples are actually for React Spring Web. However you can use this if you're fearless in your application and it looks actually quite good and quite natural. So well, you just need to fix a few issues because now it looks like the import from add react spring slash native, you gotta figure that out. But once you're there, you can create your own animated components, pretty much like you can do with the animated API in React Native or with reanimated as well. And then you get also these cool hooks that you can use pretty much like reanimated. So if you're looking for something that will definitely work on the web, uh, which by the way, reanimated does as well, uh, but for some reason you're into React Spring because it's actually quite popular with about 27,000 stars because it's from the React world, then go check out React Spring on GitHub. Next package is probably a bit niche finding and thanks Kataline for pointing this out because it's actually pretty cool. React native text input effects with almost 3000 stars. Um, the maintenance, well, it's probably a bit old, uh, just like some other package that Kataline recommended. But anyway, uh, I could still make it work. I think I had to fix a few things. It is a package to get you some sort of input effects like moving around icons, um, like making uh, changing the size of these text input fields and it's based on another library. Uh, this can be pretty cool if you're looking for some, well, sort of easy uh, ways to animate your text inputs, to animate the, the icons or whatever is going on. However, I found this quite challenging to set up because they're like these components, they have these names. I don't know exactly why that's the case. I couldn't figure that out. And it usually works with a specific set of icons that you have to use. But if you're cool with all of that and you're interested in some specific input fields like this one here, then go check it out. Um, the React Native Text Input Effects Library should still work today. All right, package eight is probably not exactly an animation library, but you can still get pretty cool effects out of this. So I wanted to include this also because it's that popular. So the React Native Snap Carousel has 10K stars right here, which is quite a lot for a React Native uh, library but you can get these sort of things. And to me, this kind of fits into the animation category because it looks really good and it's stuff that you want to do if you're interested in animations anyway. Uh, however, I think also for this one, I had to apply some fixes uh, regarding outdated view props, but anyway, I could make it work <laughs> in the easiest possible way. Um, most examples you're gonna find are somewhat still outdated. They use like class components uh, and not functional components. So you gotta do a bit of brain work to uh, refresh those code examples. But nonetheless, the carousel implementation feels a bit like a flat list where we also have a render item function. So uh, in that regards, once you get it work, it's pretty cool. And I think based on this, you can implement really epic uh, animations. So go check it out. Just check out the examples and what they're planning for the future if you're interested in a snappy carousel component like this. We're almost at the end of our list, but place nine goes to the React Native Animatable Package, which is also quite popular. And I don't know why I never came across it. I was probably so blown away by reanimated that I never used this. 
But after checking out a few outdated libraries, trying to make libraries work with patch package, this actually felt really good once again. So let's check it out. Animatable, we got these smooth animations here, up and down you go. And the cool thing is that this was actually really easy to implement. It looks like this. Uh, so we got here the iteration count, the direction, or the uh, animatable text with a pulse animation. So we can configure all of this in here pretty easy. And this kind of feels a bit like Modi. So I don't know, I'm pretty sure all of these libraries inspire each other, which is always great. Um, and you can just pick the one that feels best for you. Also, this still seems to be maintained. It still worked uh, pretty much out of the box. So definitely uh, another gem among the uh, 10 libraries presented in here. Go check it out, React Native Animatable. And we're coming to an end of our list with one of the biggest names, React Native Skia. We just have to mention this, William Candillon version 1e was released in March. Uh, I'm pretty sure the star count will grow. And with Skia, you can just do high performance 2D graphics. It is an awesome library. Um, I'm, I can't tell you now about React Native Skia. Go check out William Condillon's channel and everything he has done. Just giving you a quick example. Like, like all of this can be done with React Native Skia. Usually also in combination with React Native Reanimated under the hood for some animations. But then you can do unbelievable, powerful things. Pretty much, if you don't know this, Skia is also the engine that was used in Flutter to draw all the pixels on the screen. It's now probably the impeller engine. But anyway, um, William Condillon and the office, uh, offer uh, and, the, and the team at Shopify, they made it work. So we can also use this with, Re uh, with React Native, which means we don't have to use Flutter and we can still get the best of Skia in React Native applications. So go check this out at Shopify React Native Skia if you want really, really high performance drawing animations and check out William's channel for more content on it. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this list of 10 React Native animation libraries and I hope you could find one or two little gems that you didn't know about before. On top of that, I just wanna mention two more things. So the first thing is that a lot of these libraries are kind of dying out or fizzling out, especially if they serve a special purpose. So um, you've seen the text input, there was like a carousel, another component, and um, a page control and I had more from Catalin on that list that just weren't maintained anymore. So uh, in many cases you're gonna see a very specific example that works really great for a time and then people stop uh, maintaining that. I can totally understand that but it's hard to use these components in the future so therefore you're sometimes better off using a more general approach like reanimated Skia, Lottie, like these big names to implement something instead of picking a very specific niche solution for one component that you want to animate. But anyway, let me know if there was something new in this for you and if there's something that I have missed. So please put a comment below this video and let me know your favorite animation library for React Native. And also check out this video about 10 components I did. Probably gonna find another component that you can use in your React Native application in there and I will catch you next time until then happy coding Simon